I have a super special speed art for you today because it's one of the images that can be found in my not entirely done but on its way to being done masterclass. <laughs> I'm Abby Esparza with Photomanipulation.com and I've been making creepy images as a career for 10 years or so. And today I have an untitled but still significant image because she is one of the multiple images that will be used in my Dark Surrealism Masterclass course, which I figure I'd finally talk about a little bit. Also, hello, sorry if I don't make a ton of eye contact, I'm watching the time lapse on a tablet as I chat, so I may be looking up a lot of the time, hopefully that's not too awkward, I'm not amazing with eye contact. But like I mentioned, this is one of the main images in my upcoming course, the release date is yet to be determined. In fact, if you're watching this video new, I'm still working on it, and you can actually leave me anything you'd like to see in the course down in the comments. I'm trying to pack it with as many goodies as I can, from stock images, brushes, other resources, my personal shortcut cheat sheet, uh, there will be full transcripts, course notes, timestamps, uh, some worksheets, and a lot of those ideas came from people just telling me what they want to see included when they buy a premium course. And I'm more than happy to include as much as I possibly can. But if you're watching this in the future, then that course might already be done, and if so, will probably be linked down in the description. So this time-lapse footage isn't the course itself. I always create any educational image at least twice, sometimes three times. The first is the dry run, which is what this is, where I have my everyday workflow and full workspace set up. I don't have to worry about screen recording, minus the time-lapse and stuff. Oh, that's also why the UI might seem a bit small. This was recorded at my normal 4K resolution, because I work on 4K screens, and then squeezed down to 1080p. The course will be recorded at a proper 1080p however, so you don't have to worry about that. But then I'll take this PSD organizer, refiner, and write up all the educational content based on the techniques used. So I want to talk about what the course isn't, uh, because while we're watching a time lapse, it definitely isn't a bunch of time lapses. I definitely don't want anyone thinking that's what it is. There are some, of course, they are a very necessary evil. Uh, for reference, this one is going about 1400, uh, so quite a bit quicker. Um, it also won't be a bunch of strung together how-to tutorials. It's very technique focused and not so uh, linear step by step. Uh, think tools, techniques, and the hows, whys, and whens I use those techniques. It's still an advanced course, but it's not hold hand here's how this image is made specifically. So this basically means these techniques being taught um, aren't only applicable for dark surreal effects, but they work throughout all different kind of genres. In the beginning of my career, I made most of my income from editing uh, children's photo shoots. Um, I've made a lot of Elsa Snow Queens. So sometimes people can be a bit surprised that all these niche looking effects are actually super practical. If you can do this, then you can do anything. Um, and that being said, I just love the dark and surreal, and that's the genre I prefer to teach in when I can. And almost every stock image I use in the course will be included so you can follow along step by step with the exact subject being worked on. And when it comes to this image specifically, the PSD will be included, which I'm very excited about. Sometimes that is so hard to do because of image licensing and stuff, so I'm trying to keep any external resources down to a bare minimum. Not only that, but there will also be alternate poses of the same model included. Uh, there really is a whole lot of stuff outside of the massive course material itself. I'm not sure how long the course is going to be, but it's, it's going to be a hefty one. I'll have a proper video once the course drops with more information. I'm just super excited. Uh, so keep on watching to get just a taste of what's to come. I couldn't resist showing off a sneak peek.
again, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't familiar with my work and the kind of stuff I specialize in and might want to kind of get a feel for what the course will uh, provide, I'll drop my portfolio link down in the description. I also have a 25% off code for optics, which is the plugin you saw me use on the background in the beginning of the time lapse. Uh, hands down, my favorite plugin ever. Uh, and any stock images used will be down there as well, of course. If you have any questions concerning the course, feel free to ask them down in the comments. I will definitely get to you. And like I said, this was more of a chill chit chat kind of thing. Uh, so I can let you know it's on the way. I think originally I wanted it to come out last October. So it's been almost a year since the original um, due date, I guess, but honestly, it wouldn't have been half as good if it weren't for the delay. And it's working out to be a real timeless piece of uh, educational material, or as timeless as a software technology-based course can be, I guess. <laughs> If you want to see my full workflow setup, you can check out this video about not just how I have Photoshop arranged, but also what I like to keep on my second monitor. I'm Abby Esparza with PhotoManipulation.com. See you next time.